tacos here. I bet you can get the fish tacos and they probably give you a, a table. Hun, hun, hun. It's pretty good. Very beachy. We beachy. got there's only a few people here. We're the only cruise ship in the port, port today. We have the second biggest cruise ship in the world with 6,000 passengers. But don't be going out to sea. Don't go too far, please, Mark. Come back. Not very many people here right now. It's kind of nice. nice. Our boy Reg hooked us up with some chairs. Yes. You, you walk up and down the beach, and people come after you and try to sell you. Beach chairs. Beach chairs and drinks. Umbrellas. And, and uh, Jill here got a nice little foot massage. Unsolicited. All the ladies. All the ladies. Are walking up and down. They got like beads and hats. Hats on their head, like the guy from the book. Trying yeah. to sell you inklets and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then we were sitting here, and then two huge fish swam right by us, and we didn't know what they were, and kind of freaked out, and a couple people next to us freaked out. And, it's like a wave pool, man. This is this is the life right here. This this, this is no uh, Great Wolf Lodge right here. I'm being pushed up onto the beach. I'm a fish out of water. I already did. Okay. It was in the background when you were talking. I'm a fish out of water. Yeah. Out of uh. And stuff. It's a whole. This white sand beach is all like shells. Lots of shells. Let me see if I can find a shell. Uh, I mean, there's like crushed up shells. Yeah. There's some bigger ones. Yeah, they're all over in here. Well, I'm not but it is beautiful. It's about 84 degrees. Here's some shells. There's a shell. There we go. Look at that handful of shell. That's a pretty one. Yeah. There's our ship. Again, only ship in the port. We can rent these chairs. We got three chairs. Two umbrellas. Two umbrellas, three drinks. three little drinks, not really much of a drink. And Wi-Fi. We got Wi-Fi probably fast for it. it. 25 bucks. So we're gonna be all day, except we're not. Yeah, we could have them all day, but we only got a couple hours and we're gonna get ready to go on our snorkel catamaran yeah. sail thing. But this is living right here. Ready? Right, we'll do a little, oh, a little selfie selfiness. Marky, you're gonna come and selfie. Ooh, I'm gonna fall over. Okay. Marky, come here. Can you see the ship in the back there probably? I don't know. I can't see the screen at all. All right. Like you can't. No can. All right. Over and out. Fish coming your way. Fish. Oh, wow. Look at the shark. Show us what you do, sir. Show us what you do. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna start now. When you say I do this, I start, I'm starting. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fresh coconut water, ladies. You get a straw or you drink it just like this? Oh, straw right there, right there, right there. Here, I got you. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. That's the first impression. Warm dull water. Warm dull water, huh? That's exactly what it tastes like, yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. How is it, bud? It's almost tasteless. Light flavor. Well, that's like how coconut yep. water is. Yep. Give a shot. Yep. <clears throat> oh. All right. Mm, Looks good. Thank you guys. <laughs> if this sounds you happen to break, you'd have to be a bit rough with it and it would just be like a splinter. It's holding on to the hand right now. I'm not holding it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. 
There we go, look at that. Alright. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Alright. Who's that? This is our escargot, but not. Oh, okay. So we have some, it was supposed to be escargot, but I guess they had to substitute scallops in here. Yep. A cheese plate for the, well, this is both for the table. And then we each got um, our crispy coconut shrimp for apple. Yes. All right, Marky, take a bite. Still day five dinner. Marky got the New York strip steak. Melt. Melt. Butter. He's got butter. He's got a baked potato, some vegetables, and sour cream. Justin got the same. And I got cheese right. tortellini. There you go. Good. A brownie. Yummy. Ice cream. Mm. Looks more like a mousse. Bananas Foster. Bananas Foster. Oh, yeah, more coming. Oh. More coming. Look at that. Oh, oh, wow. Even. wow. Nice. Look at all these. Oh my goodness. What, what did we do? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Mm, nice. Love it. Full table desserts. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> what do I have? Two spoons and a fork. Yeah. Strawberry cheesecake. Yum, right. yum. Lots of desserts. Bar in the back. Yeah. All right, let's go listen to some music. So, what are we doing in St. Martin? <clears throat> uh, in St. Martin. So we got off the boat at like 8:30. 8:30 a.m. It was like at 8 to 5:30 on the island time. Um, we were among one of the first ones off, I think. Mm -hmm. There was uh, a lot of people just waited around for that one, so we got off pretty early and um, 
kind of walked through this kind of port downtown mall kind of thingy. Um, everything was still closed because it was so early. Um, our first plan of action was to make sure we knew where to go for our 12.30 excursion. So we walked, had to ask directions a little bit to figure out how to get out of the kind of port area. <clears throat> it was about a five minute walk to where the afternoon tour was leading from, so we found that. And then we just kept walking. Um, is Marky awake? No, okay. Mark, Mark is still sleeping. <clears throat> So we found the, just kept walking, and then there was kind of a another tourist beach area, um, and it was definitely touristy because there was lots of people that approached us trying to sell us things and trying to sell us chairs for the day, um, which was okay, I think. Um, they weren't overly pushy, I mean. No, the, there was, I don't know, three or four people that tried to sell us, uh, rent us a chair uh, before we relented mm -hmm. and, and got some chairs. Mm -hmm. um, we got three chairs and two beach umbrellas uh, right at the first row of chairs by the water, which was very nice. Um, we could you know, have a place to put our stuff and we got some drinks that was included with our chair package. Um, the Wi-Fi was also included, but we didn't use it. Mm -hmm. um, and we... I thought we were not going to get wet that morning because um, we're going to be wet all afternoon. But we did end up changing into our swimsuits and going in the water, which was really nice. Um, this was, did you see a lot of fish there? We saw a few fish, a couple big fish that we didn't really know what they were swimming right by us and did see a sea turtle. And, but yeah, we didn't get too crazy because it was kind of the open ocean and there weren't any lifeguards. and mm -hmm. <clears throat> So we... Want, had to stay pretty close. Yeah, I'm just worried about like tides or like um, currents, currents and, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, so that was good. Um, and then we went back to the tour place, um, which was very nice. The lady that owned the tour um, was there at the beginning, um, and so she kind of she said that she was originally from. The East Coast. I yeah, think. New Hampshire, I think. Yeah. So, um, she and her was, husband died and she wanted to do something new, so she moved out to the Bahamas. Yeah, her, <coughs> her um, boat was named Plan B. Plan B. Yeah. So, yeah, the tour was great. There were three staff people on the boat. A um, uh, guy was um, driving the boat and also made the sandwiches and the food and the drinks and everything. Um, well, they had a separate bartender who made the drinks okay. named CJ. Okay. That was that woman? That was the woman. Okay. Yeah. And then um, the kind of the host was David. David. And he was kind of the talker. Um, and he was the one that got in the water with everybody each time. So we went out to this area that they called um, like a snorkel park. Snorkel Park. Snorkel Park. So um, when I when so Justin and Mark went out on the snorkel, and I just stayed on the boat, and so I talked to CJ, and she said that there were some cannons that had fallen down from I don't know if it's hit a fort there or something. Um, so there's cannons that fell down into the water, and then they decided to sink more things mm -hmm. in the water to not only give a thing to look at when you were snorkeling but also to provide some cover for fish so that more fish would be there and it, it would be better snorkeling as well mm -hmm. so so tell us about that i was not there yeah so mark and i had to swim i don't know maybe 100 yards from the boat into this park area and saw lots of fish and um there was also an area where you could scuba dive and put on one of those full head things with the hooves attached and walk around on the bottom so you could see the the path with the railings that they created for those people. They called it the uh, sea trek, I think. <clears throat> sea trek, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was it was fun and so then when David, our guide, uh, came over he had a little bit of bread and so that kind of attracted more attracted more fish. <clears throat> and then the fish kind of followed him even when he didn't have the bread because like they knew that twice a day here comes this guy that you know, it's going to feed us and so yeah we were surrounded by fish 
Um, I think you said the long, narrow ones that were really around us were called the Ballyhoo. Um, we have some colorful ones down there. Uh, one of the kids on our tour lost his mask and it fell off and didn't tell anybody about it till like a half hour later. And so, so David was like, well, where'd you lose it? And he's like, I don't know, somewhere over there. And so apparently they did find it though. So Yeah, it was not that far from the boat. No. So Lucas had been pretty yeah. uh, nervous about the whole thing. He came back to the boat when you guys were still out. Yeah. And then he went out after he got a noodle and then he <clears> dropped <throat> it and he told me and I told yeah. the captain and he's like, we'll just leave it. Like, right. David will get it later. Right. But there it was nice because there's only 10 guests on this charter mm -hmm. when it's up the max is at 25. 24. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was just us and then a couple from Florida and then a, three people from New Jersey, New, Jersey. New Jersey and then two people from Utah. Utah. Yeah. Very nice. And mm -hmm. the, the two people from Florida, like a mom and a daughter, and mm -hmm. all, everybody's on the ship obviously. And uh, the daughter had lost a tooth on the full rider. <laughs> so she had a big gap. You know. She said that they had even gone to a dentist the day before in St. Thomas and they had reattached the tooth. But just when she was um, brushing, her, brushing teeth. her teeth the next <laughs> that morning, it fell right out again. So I think that's a lost cause for her. Yeah, she you know, supposed to get an implant or whatever. But so yeah, snorkeling was fun. And after maybe a little bit less than an hour, we swam back to the boat and then we took the boat to a kind of secluded beach right by the airport. So this is where we call Mahalo Beach. M Maho. Maho Beach. Maho Beach. Which is famous for with the like the, the beaches here and the airplanes come so close over you. Um, but we were to the side of that because the boat could not have come in so close to that where that main area was. So we were on the side and we still had smaller yeah. planes going over us and you could see the big planes taking off kind of parallel to where we were. Um, but this was you know, very blue water. There was like nobody there. Um, and David uh, encouraged everybody to climb up on the very top of the boat on the roof and jump off the roof into the water mm -hmm. um, and demonstrated that. And quite a few people did that. Um, Mark was not brave enough to do it, but Justin did that. I did, it was fun. Um, so that was fun. And There's a lot more waves and current in that spot, but Mark was fine and had a fun time. Mm -hmm. So then we went back and it was really like like in the wind, um, but thankfully I didn't get seasick, neither did Mark. Um, we had little sandwiches that they made. I don't know if you knew that that was um, Dutch cheese. That I didn't was, know that. That was kind of CJ had made a point to tell me about mm -hmm. that. Um, because we were on the Dutch side. The Dutch of side. The island. That's why um, next to the um, where we got on the boat, there was a Dutch or Danish um, yeah. cheese shop, mm -hmm. there, which I went into and got some cool drinks. But they had cheese head hats, which was pretty funny because <clears throat> obviously that's a Wisconsin thing, um, and I had never seen the cheese head hats anywhere else except related to Wisconsin. Um, yeah, so then we got back to the place, and it was about four, a little after four, um, and we just went back, uh, walked back to the ship, because um, we wanted to make our main dining room reservation, and we had done quite a bit mm -hmm. in the morning, um, so. Yeah, so we came back, had dinner with Kadek, mm -hmm. and Shadati, Sujati. Sujati, and what did we do after that? We didn't have comedy that day, we didn't know. Yeah, family comedy. Well, that was yesterday. Nope. Okay, so maybe it was family comedy show. Family comedy show. That sounds right. With uh, the two guys that we had seen do adult comedy. So that was mm -hmm. pretty impressive that there was not one swear word because yeah. there were so many swear words mm -hmm. in the adult comedy. Um, so it was good. They did repeat a couple of the, the jokes, yeah. um, but Mark thought it was funny. I could tell. Although he did get called up by the second comic because we were in the front row. And so the second comic used Mark to set up some mm -hmm. of his jokes, yep. which Mark was very... He was good. He was good, but he was he was really uncomfortable. Yeah, because it was like, oh, you got a girlfriend? Yeah. Girlfriend that, like Mark hates to talk about <laughs> girlfriends and stuff. Oh, your girlfriend is here and whatever. She's yeah. 82 years old. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but he didn't like freak out or anything, no. so it was fine. Um, what did we do after that? 
So that was... I think Mark went and did some stuff with the oh, team yeah. group. Yeah, so Mark has had a little bit of interest in doing some of the team activities on board, which is just fine. Um, it's a pretty low stakes way to give him some independence, um, because like, where is he going on yeah. the ship? Uh, he takes my phone, and my phone has messaging to Justin's phone. We pay for that. It's just a couple bucks a day. Um, so if he takes my phone with him, even without the internet, he can, we could basically like text, like texting within the Royal Caribbean app between the two phones. So then um, he, we can, you know, he can tell us where he's going or where he's at and he can ask us questions like, where are you? And um, a couple of times, even with that, we have been somewhere else and he'll say like, I'm going back to the room and we'll say like, oh, we're by the ice cream in this place and then he'll come meet us there. So that's worked out well, I think. Yeah. Um, so that was the end of the St. Martin day. Yep. 